how do you do today, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you... Okay, anyway. I couldn't, it be, but I couldn't beat that third thing. The third stage, I'm kind of blum. You know, it could be the third, the third, um... Brian third Castle? I am lost. Anyway, it is Brian vs. Sega today. Yeah. What is the game? The Rex. Radical Rex. Ra we're playing Radical Rex Radical today. Rex. Radical Sex. Okay, here we go. No, we're not playing that. Maybe you will someday with someone Sounds like else. a dinosaur game, Brian. Hopefully we'll see dinosaurs. Who knows what the hell we will, will be playing. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the ever so popular Brian vs. Sega. This is what puts food on the table, right? Yeah. Brian vs. Sega. We're generating zero dollars a year. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we'll start making money. We're making zero uh, right now. The only way we'd make money, Brian, if we robbed a bank. <laughs> and I'd hand you the money and you'd get caught. Anyway, here we go with Radical Rick. Okay. Okay. Okay, Brian. I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, you're I a have dinosaur. I'm totally lost. You're a dinosaur. Fun. <laughs> that was the worst beginning ever. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, stay on the skateboard. Okay, Brian's on a skateboard. Brian's a dinosaur, and Brian is buzzard meat in five seconds. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay should pop up and just say you should be embarrassed. Ready? Okay, time your jumps. Okay, this might have been the fastest game over in Brian vs. Sega history. Yeah, pretty much, because I keep on hitting the game nope, fire. you got two more lives. Okay, this is a fast-paced game. Starring it's Radical. called Radical Rex, so of course it's a fast-paced game. Is it because he's on a skateboard? Is that why he's Radical? Pretty much. Or does he always have his dick hanging out? Is that why he's Radical Rex? Don't know about that part, and I probably don't want to know. So he's kind of like Bart Simpson, he's got a skateboard. Skateboards were popular back then, weren't they? Yeah. In the 90s, 80s? Uh-huh, now I'm kind of stuck in this part, because I don't want to end up in the acid again. Or the acid. Whatever that is. Okay, we'll just go with acid. I like that, Brian. Okay, Brian is going left and right constantly. Will he jump? That's you at your best. Or just fall into the acid? I just think that's ragu. Yeah. Now the pasta sauce. So Brian, how are the controls on Radical Rex? Kinda odd. Not controls, not even controls, just up. Wow. Yeah. This is like Sonic the Hedgehog with the speed, huh? Yeah. Oh, you can breathe fire. Torch that guy, Brian. Um, how are you gonna get up to there? Oh, you can jump on him. Okay, there's a little dinosaur eggs you can get, and you are... Toast! But uh, at least I got um, further than that pump, than that first part again, this part. Okay, Brian continued. Can you do these kind of tricks on a skateboard? Or would you just injure yourself stepping on a skateboard? I don't know. I'm gonna go with you'd be injured just placing a skateboard on the ground. This seems like a fun game. Yeah, if you figure out what to do, it's yeah. It's fast paced like Sonic the Hedgehog. I want you to be radical as this guy, Brian. I can't figure out how uh, you bounce on him and you go up. It was like a, he's like a trampoline. So burn him. There you go. Now, are those dinosaur eggs or gobstoppers? That I do not know. Are those robin eggs? You ever have that candy? The like gold chocolate? Okay, back to gameplay. Brian, well, not back to gameplay. Brian is dead. Yeah. Will we see a checkpoint? Wow, Brian just did some tricks. How are the graphics in Radical Rex? Brian? <laughs> How are the graphics in Radical, this. in Radical Rex? How are the graphics? It's kind of difficult, but I'm kind of into this. Was that your graphics rating? Kind of difficult? Yeah, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> that is his graphics rating. Kind of difficult. Never heard graphics described like that before. Kind of difficult. 
Okay, Brian's liking the game this week. I shouldn't say this week, huh? Should I say this month? Because these one these come out, right? You don't Maybe. know when it's coming out because we have so many, so many so other many episodes. You don't even know when they're coming out. We got Brian vs Super Mario Brothers. We got uh, what else do we have? Well, Brian vs Sega. John and Brian versus. Uh, we have Mr. Knee. Yeah. Uh, what are those shows? John vs. Nintendo? Is that a work in progress? Do we yeah. have too many shows going on at once? Probably. Brian, Brian vs. Bikinis? Brian vs. Bikinis? That's not a show. Well, we, are, we haven't written the script for that yet, Brian. Okay. Back to gameplay. How is the music in Radical Rex? Good. You think you could breathe fire in real life, Brian? No. What if you ate a fistful of hot tamales candies? Would that make you breathe fire? Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna buy some hot tamales right this second. Wouldn't that be funny if I just walked away and had some and gave them to you? Maybe. But I don't, Brian. Do you like playing as dinosaurs? Yeah, it's pretty much a fun game. Usually dinosaurs are the enemies, right? Yeah. But you're playing as a dinosaur. What type of game do you think this is? I think it's a platforming game, like Mario Brothers. Is that why you like it? Yeah. And the big question for this episode, Brian, have you ever seen Leslie Nielsen in the shower? No, never. And I never want to. Don't have to worry about that because he's dead. We don't have to worry about it because he's dead. Okay. What did he die from? That we do not know. I think he had a... Um... You think he committed suicide because they're going to make him do Mr. Magoo 2? No. He, um, yeah, he had an ammonia. He's the one who went to the hospital around Thanksgiving and, uh, uh, and had of ammonia. Ammonia? Yeah, with an ammonia. Oh. He was in his 80s. Oh, he was in his 80s. Why did he have a girl's name? No, no. Okay, that looks like a running jump, Ryan. I know you, you're against running jumps, but... And you died anyway. Yeah. What if he was Mexican, Brian? Would it be Radical Mex? Does that make any sense? No. Radical Mex? Dinosaurs naturally breathe fire like that? Don't know, maybe. So this is like a cutesy platforming game. Yeah, it's pretty fun too. Now, would you call this a kid's game? Yes, but it's pretty fun. Okay. Because on James Pond 2 you said it was a kid's game. This kind of looks like James Pond 2. Same kind of gameplay. We have some kind of slowdown in this game, though. Yeah. Maybe because too much things are going on. A lot of bugs flying. Yeah. Can you kill that thing? No, no, no. Okay, just run right through him. Burn him. Okay, now running jump. That's what you're gonna have to do to get to the next spot. Oh. What do you think those power-ups are, Brian? Think those are eggs? Maybe. Oh, you made it. Ah, oh, wait, you're still alive, Brian. Come on, Brian, will he be to stage one? Oh, back to the skateboard. Good move, Brian. Wow. Wow, just keep going with it, Brian. I think you can take an extra hit when you're on the skateboard. No, don't skateboard back. You wanna go right. I'm trying to make that jump. You gotta jump. I just go right and jump. Now is this a game you would have played as a kid? Maybe. Maybe? 
You seem to like it, so I'm guessing you would play it if you were younger. Oh, did you hit a checkpoint? No, I hit no. that. that I hit that. Over. You've given up.